Hey, welcome to our quick lesson on Google Apps Script. Where we're going to be highlighting how you can use the Create Text Finder in order to search for a particular string value within an active sheet and then return back all of the matching results, loop through those results, and set the background color of the matching cells and also output that wherever we found the row and the column of the matching item and output that within the logger. So let's go ahead and we're going to run the script. It's going to be looking for a string with a value of cat within the active sheet. All of the cells that it found, it highlighted in yellow. We can select a different active sheet. And in this case, let's go ahead and update the string value that we're searching for to dog, run the script again. And now we have a new active sheet and now it highlighted the dog on the second sheet. So that's the quick project that we're going to be working on in this lesson. Go ahead and log into the Google account. And then from there, you can open up a brand new spreadsheet. My preferred way is to go over to the drive under the new tab and then go down to Google Sheets and that will open up a new spreadsheet. So within this spreadsheet, let's add in some dummy data. So I'm going to write uh, test and I'll also write some animals and then we'll fill up the rest of the cells with some additional dummy data that we can use. So the objective of this lesson is going to be to search through the content and return back the matching cell. We're going to return back the matching cell that has the row and the column. Give the spreadsheet a name and I'm going to call it test finder. We're going to be using a bound script. So that means that the script is going to be bound to the sheet as we are going to be selecting and selecting content from the active sheet. So once you're in the spreadsheet under the extensions tab, go to apps script and that will open up the Google apps script editor. And from here we can write code into our project. I'm going to also call this test finder one. So that gives the Google script a name within the editor area. There's a default function. And in this case it's called my function. So I'm going to give it a more meaningful name calling it search it. So whenever this function runs, we're going to search our spreadsheet for a particular value. So first of all, what we want to do is select the sheet. So we're going to select the sheet into a sheet object. So selecting the sheet, we use the spreadsheet app service and then get the active sheet. So this will return back whatever sheet is currently active. If you have more than one sheet, it will return back whatever sheet currently the user is active on. So this selects the sheet object and then we want to find a string that we're going to be searching for. So I'm going to give it a name of find string and this is going to be a string value that we're going to be searching the spreadsheet for. And then in order to do the search, we want to return back the text so I'm going to give this variable a name of text finder and then using the sheet object, create text finder. And this is a method within the spreadsheet that will allow us to search for a particular string. And the string that we're searching for is going to be the find string variable, which is going to be equal to test. Notice as well that as you use the variables within your code, they're going to go from a muted gray to a dark black. So as I selected sheet and I selected the find string, these updated within the editor as we are selecting and using that object. Next one is we want to get the cell that's going to contain the text that we find and the text that we're find is coming back within the text finder and we can iterate through it using the find next Let's log out. So within the logger log, we'll output the result that we have for the text finder, and we're going to run the script. So go ahead and select under run, select the function that we want to run. In this case, we're running the function called search it. The first time you run it, you will have to accept permissions. So go through the permissions screen. First, we review permissions, select the Google account that you want to run the script by. And then there's a tab here that says advanced. If you select that, 
that will bring you down to whatever you named your application. In this case, I named it Test Finder 1. So go ahead and click that link. That's going to open up the sign in with Google, the permissions for the Test Finder 1 application, and the permissions that are being set. You can always remove the permissions by going to the myaccount.google.com forward slash permissions or clicking the Google account link within this screen. So once you're OK with the permissions and the Google script running as your Google account, select Allow, and that's going to allow the script to run and get the permissions. So right now we've got a find replace text and that's being returned back. So that's a find replace object that we've returned back. So we can also select the cell and if we want to get the row from the cell, we can select the cell object and get the row. This is going to return back the row of the current cell. And also we can get the column using the cell and the get column method, which will return back the column of that selected cell object. And for now, what we'll do is we're going to log that out as a string. Those are back ticks that I'm using, so the template literals. So this way I don't have to break in and out of the string. Found at row, and then the dollar sign in the curly brackets to show the row variable and then column, and the same thing, the dollar sign and curly brackets. And again, this is the back tick. The back tick is to the left of the most of the keyboards, of the one key on most keyboards. And this is a template literal in JavaScript, and it's available within Google Apps Script as well. So let's save the script. And we're running the script, searching for a cell that has the word test. And it's going to return back the first found result which is in row one, column one. Let's update the word and search for cat. And that returned back three and three. So column three and row number three. So there's the word that we've selected. So it's able to select the cell. We can select the find all out what we have for items. And this will return back all of the matching results. Let's update test and we're going to add in a few more values for matching results. As right now, it's just returning back whatever the first result is. So let's try running the code again. And that gives us six ranges within an array format that are matching the results. So instead of just outputting the one, we're going to move through them and select all of them and output those values. So I'm going to comment out the find next for the cell. And since this is going to be an array, we can loop through, returning back the cell. And then for the cell contents, we can use the new cells as we're iterating through in order to return back the results. And now we're going to see which cells have the results being found. And just as when we can select the cell, we can also get the values and we can set the values for the cell the background and let's set the background to be red. So that will update the backgrounds of the found matching values to be red. If we select sheet number two and have this as the active sheet and we run the script, it's not going to find any results because again, it is working off of whatever the active sheet object is and whatever the active sheet is, that's what's being returned back within the code. So this is a way that you can use the create text finder in order to find text and then loop through the text and even update the selected cell all using Google Apps Script. So go ahead and try it out to get more familiar with what you can do with Google Apps Script.